which will put you in a better position. Another question from the floor. There's quite a few up here. Greg, you might want to stay out that end, maybe. Hi, Nigel Raymond. Firstly, I'd like to say to Queen Lisa, you've missed one thing. People should also say hello to each other. The, I wasn't the, trying to be, I wasn't being too demanding. <laughs> The other thing is the rumours are that the council is sitting on $400 million. Is this true? Thank you. It's a very succinct question, right? So uh, there's certainly rumours that council is sitting on a treasure chest that we could be using to allow rates to be reduced or doing this, that or the other. There are reserves that are 100% externally restricted or fully allocated. I'm saying that before I tell you the figure because it's $418 million as of August. Now, um, the vast majority of that is in the sewer and water funds that are not allowed to be spent on nothing else other than the infrastructure that they've been put in for. The, um, the wastewater treatment plant um, that that's to be directed towards and paid for with a lot of extra borrowing as well is going to be delivered by 2028 is the schedule. And the Kawara water filtration plant that the water funds will be um, spent on uh, will be, I think it's 2027 is when that's c completed. So those are the two big projects. They've been in the works for six, seven, eight years even. And so the funds are being collected for that purpose. So that's a big portion of the funds that are externally restricted, can't be spent on anything else. The rest of the funds are adding up to 99.3% of that um, 418 million uh, are things like grants that can't be spent on anything else are already directed to um, specific projects, uh, bonds for, for contractors. So we're talking about 99.3% of those are either externally <coughs> legally restricted or fully allocated to, to things that need to be done. They're also going to be fully exhausted by 20, end of 2027, as I understand it. These are planned to be spent, they're going to be spent, that's what they're there for. And so all of these misleading statements that have been put out, including by councillors are completely wrong and show either misunderstanding or ever intend to mislead. Just whatever order you like, I think, because there's no... That's not closing remarks. No, that's just closing remarks later. Um, well, I think Rachel actually took my time and answered it perfectly, so I have nothing further to add. Again, not much further to add. That was very accurate from councillors who have been following and listening and reading reports. But there's also a money reserves explainer. It's a little old now. It was in 2022. I reckon we should have that updated and put out again for the community. But if you wanted to have a look at that, that's another explainer of what those funds are. I just can't help myself from grabbing the microphone. <laughs> the, the justification for the rate freeze, that, that we had $400 million to spend, uh, and it was kind of uh, brought together, I think is... It's totally fallacious and the fact that the rate freeze was put forward with the casting vote and against the let's have your say response and against the advice of the local government um, association is just an indictment on some of the things that have happened in the previous council so we we really need to respond and respect that communication the let's have your say and get truth in what the councillors are telling the community. So the $400 million was not there to give us a rate freeze. We're going to be $8 million behind, I understand, in next year's budget. So I'll let you uh, make your own decisions on that point. Thank you, Stuart. Good point. Um, I guess the bottom line is, in my opinion, you have been lied to and deceived to. Um, sure, it always looks good. Rate freeze, great. We don't have to spend any more money uh, we don't, on, on rates. But the whole purpose was to just get their get their plan over the line to make sure they got as many votes as possible in 2021. And unfortunately, uh, the majority of the population fall for it, um, who have in, uh, taken that up without actually considering um, the consequences down the track. So I do apologise if you, if that was something that you voted for um, in that respect. Um, but surely, small increments each year are better than getting a whopping. 10%, 15% increase next financial year. Okay. Now, I think, I think everybody's had a...